any time where decent journalists, not just anybody, and teams or managers or physios, whoever, and directors and physios, are either traveling together or have got to be in the same space, hotel or, or bus or whatever it might be more, it, it might lead to explosions every now and again, but it does lead to seeing, you know, to some degree, we're all human. Sometimes it can, I mean, I genuinely, I came in at the tail end of it, but I had fun. We, we traveled with Celtic to Batumi. I don't know if you're, you're obviously not at the top then, but I traveled with Celtic to Batumi in, in Georgia. And it was at a time when Georgia had just been um, suffering a typhoid epidemic. They just tried to blow up whatever his name, Shepard Nancy's car. On the way out, the Russian plane f- felt a bit ropey. Um, we got stopped, we got hijacked, because they obviously recognised that Fergus McCann was good for it. We got hijacked for 20 grand on the way back. They stayed the militia on the runway after setting, I think, had one in, in, at Dinamo Batumi. And there was trace of fire in the distance, because there was still a civil war going on. And we were held up by Chavon Gunman on the tarmac, and uh, Fergus was forced to pay $20,000 before they let the plane take off. We were just covering this, and we we, we did a you know we did a bit of vodka in Georgia prior to the, the match. We did a night out, and we Garrett Garrett Keown was playing the spoons outside the hotel in the darkness because that's what Gary liked to do. And and Tommy Burns, the nicest man on the planet, guys, he leaned out the window, so you know, guys, guys, you don't show that. I can't. I'll shove them spoons right up your ass. Now <laughs> that might not be the best example of mutual <laughs> understanding, but I think it's a good one. I just I'm saying. Those days, there were there were better chances for people to get to know each other. 